Ed Excel Corpio, Complex Numbers 4, De Moivre's Theorem. Using De Moivre's Theorem. So now we can look at applying De Moivre's Theorem to simplify expressions involving complex numbers. And in this case, we're looking at a fraction. So we've got a complex number to the power 4 and a divided by a complex number cubed. So I'm going to apply the theorem to both the numerator and the denominator. So we get 3 to the power 4 cos 4 lots of 2 theta plus i sine 4 lots of 2 theta divided by and applying the theorem again. So we've got 2 cubed cos 3 lots of 4 theta plus i sine. 3 lots of 4 theta. So we've got 81 divided by 8. We've also got a division of complex numbers and we know already that if we divide complex numbers we divide their moduli which I've just done but we also subtract their arguments. So this becomes the cos of 8 theta take away 12 theta is minus 4 theta plus i sine 8 theta take away 12 theta is minus 4 theta. If we want to get this answer as simple as possible, I would suggest taking this a step further. A couple of things we can do. We know that cos is an even function, which means that the cos of a negative angle behaves like the cos of a positive angle and sine is an odd function, which means that the sine of a negative angle is the negative of the sine of the positive angle. So if we just do those one at a time, we've got 81 over 8. So because cos is an even function, cos of minus 4 theta is the same as the cos of plus 4 theta, and sine is an odd function, so the sine of minus 4 theta is the negative of the sine of 4 theta. So that's probably the simplest we can get to the answer. Do notice though that that answer is not in modulus argument form because of the minus sign in the middle. So we mustn't say that the argument of this answer is 4 theta. The argument of the answer was the minus 4 theta that we had on the previous line. So do notice we have inherited this minus sign in our solution. So we applied the theorem to the numerator and the denominator and then when we divided the complex numbers we subtracted the argument. So this is 8 theta take away 12 theta, 8 theta take away 12 theta. Then we use the fact, and it's kind of summarised nicely to the right here, that cos of minus theta is cos theta and sine of minus theta is minus sine theta. It's also worth noting that this is an alternative way of writing cos theta plus i sine theta to the power minus 1. So that's a very quick way of writing that. Um, we've got simplified the answer as much as we can, but just again take care that this isn't in modulus argument form because of the negative sign that we have produced. So in this example we're going to use the theorem again to simplify um, an expression involving complex numbers. It's been written as a product so we're multiplying two complex numbers together both of which have power. So we've got a complex number to the power 3, a complex number to the power minus 2. They're both in the correct modulus argument form ready for De Moivre's theorem. So applying the theorem to this first complex number is we get cos of 3 times pi by 4 plus i sine 3 lots of pi by 4. So that's the first one done. And then applying it to this one we get the cos of minus 2 lots of pi by 3 plus i sine minus 2 lots of pi by 3. 
we're multiplying these two complex numbers together and we know that when we multiply complex numbers together we should be adding arguments together so this becomes the cos of 3 pi by 4 I'll leave it in its raw form first plus minus 2 thirds of pi plus i sine 3 pi by 4 and we're adding on minus 2 pi by 3 so simplifying those angles so this simplifies to pi by 12 cos pi by 12 plus i sine pi by 12 and if you work these out accurately with a calculator you can get this as root 6 plus root 2 over 4 plus root 6 minus root 2 over 4 lots of i. So it looks a little bit awkward but that is the component form. So this is component form and this is the mod argument form. So we applied the theorem twice, so we got, for the power 3, gave us 3 times pi by 4. The power minus 2 gave us minus 2 lots of pi by 3. And then when we multiply these complex numbers together, we add the arguments and we simplify the answer where necessary. So in the next video, we're going to be looking at finding multiple angle identities using De Moivre's theorem.